Hey y'all, I'm back. This is T Vlog again, coming back to you all with another video. Sorry, I'm swagging y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my hands again because I'm wiping the sweat off my face. So, you guys, thank you for my new subscribers and all subscribers. Thank you all for coming back again, seeing what T Vlog is doing. I'm gonna wash my hands. Woo. Thank you guys for coming back, coming back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, um, I'm back here with another video. I didn't do a grocery haul, but I did go to the store and get a few items for the dinner that I'm making for me and Didi tonight. So, tonight we're having meatballs and gravy, mashed potatoes, and roasted Brussels sprouts. So, further ado, I'm going to show you how I'm doing these. Actually, they are called, I'm making turkey Italian meatballs. So, I'm going to show you how I'm doing these. All right. All right, y'all. So, here's my ingredients. In here, I have at least about um, three tablespoons of frozen chopped onions. Okay? And the reason why my onions are frozen um, they kind of semi thawed out, and that's because of. Uh, let's hold on, let's put it down so you all can see further down. Okay, and the reason why they're uh, semi thawed out is because I let, let them sit out for a little bit. Okay, I have my Trader Joe's. I bought this from Trader Joe's ground turkey. I have some uh, sweet Italian. Uh, Johnsonville Bronx uh, Italian sausage and I needed to go ahead and cook this up because it had been in my freezer so I'm going to check it and make sure it's okay for me to add into there so it won't have no weird smell or anything here I'm going to put a oh I'm sorry I'm sure y'all boss that's for that's to go with my Brussels sprouts <laughs> Uh, Wishishire Wish sauce. They pronounce it Wishishire. Some people pronounce it Wishaker. So, it's Wish, Wishaker Shire sauce. We got some Italian breadcrumbs here. Some people use plain ones. I like to use Italian because I am making turkey flavored Italian meatballs. So I need a few breadcrumbs. I got some minced garlic here. And this is the kind with the EVOO in it. But you can use fresh, whatever. Garlic powder. Italian. And you really don't have to use like Italian seasoning in there. But I want to put some in there. Because you'll get that in this anyway. So if you don't have Italian, know that your, uh, your uh, Italian uh, sausage has the seed in it. Smoked paprika. I'm going to use a little bit of that. I'm going to use a little cumin. And you know my garlic and black pepper seasoning is going in there. And I'm going to put a little touch of this of everything is bagel seasoning. I don't know if any of y'all have not tried this seasoning. Please try it. Hold on just a second. I got one more seasoning. And I'm just going to use a touch of Himalayan salt. Okay. So, further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start opening up my stuff. My and start putting it together. <laughs> I want to smell my, my turkey. Make sure it smells good. Yes, it does. <laughs> I mean, not ground turkey, but Italian uh, meat. You know. So we're going to 
break this up and um, it still smell good so yes and now I'm gonna go ahead and put my Trader Joe's right there <laughs> And what I'm going to do is, I'm, because it's just only me and Dee Dee, I'm not going to cook them. I'm going to cook them all. And I'm going to bake them on this sheet. I'm going to put mine in the oven, roll them out, bake them on this cookie sheet for about 20 minutes. Because I'm going to make them small. And I'm going to pre-cook. I'm going to cook them. And then, um, I'm going to take out so much of what we're going to eat. And after that, if there's any left, I'm going to uh, put them in a zip bag and stick them in the freezer. And we can make sub, uh, meatball subs. We can use them for spaghetti or whatever. So, yeah. Yeah, you guys. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so now I'm going in with my seasoning. This is a half a teaspoon, so I'm using a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Well, I'm going to say a whole teaspoon of smoked paprika. I'm using it by the half, so if you see me double it with this spoon, it's only because I have the half a teaspoon. Okay, this is my whole one teaspoon, what I should have picked up first. I'm using one teaspoon of cumin. <laughs> Excuse Diddy's big fat mouth. <coughs> um, <coughs> um, a teaspoon of Italian, I mean oregano seasoning. And I'm pushing these aside that I've already used. Teaspoon of garlic. <laughs> so I'm just teaspoon and teaspoon and teaspoon. Here I'm just gonna. Well, I don't know if I can get it off. Put a teaspoon of this in there. Every season, everything is the bagel. <laughs> I'm using about a half a teaspoon of this. Which is the garlic and pepper herb. And if you don't have that seed, you can always use a teaspoon of pepper and a teaspoon of garlic. But I use garlic twice. So I'm cracking Himalayan salt. About a teaspoon of Himalayan salt in there. Himalayan salt has so many good benefit factors. And people don't know. If you were to incorporate Himalayan salt in your diet... That will lower your blood pressure because it has over 26 minerals in it that will help with the function of your body. Okay, and here, um, I'm going to use my one fourth teaspoon here, and I just I'm going to put about four of these uh, breadcrumbs in here and I think that'll measure out to a one-fourth cup if I'm not mistaken so I probably don't need that much but that's what I'm using of the Italian seed and also I need to get me some eggs so I need two eggs two herbs two herbs I'm just excited y'all because I had a beautiful day today, and I enjoyed my day, me and my aunt. I will be uploading a video on this one furniture place that I went to, and it's so huge. It's almost as big as a mall, but I enjoyed it. Okay, and then I forgot one, I wish I didn't forget, one, I'm just going to say two teaspoons. Uh, 
let's um uh, garlic. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna leave this out. I'm gonna put that on my what's tonight. Okay, so I'm gonna slide these things aside for right now. mess here. Wash my hands here. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going in with my hands, guys. <laughs> so, I got to do my wish shot. Wishaker sauce or Wishershire sauce. And I'm going to use about three teaspoons of Wishershire. Oh, uh, what the heck. Let's do four. Four teaspoons. I don't think it'd be that bad. So, I'm going in now with my hands, you guys. Trying to get the onions to incorporate in here real good from the bottom. And see how everything is coming together. The eggs in the ground. Turkey and the Italian sausage. And the onions. So now it looks like Italian. Turkey and Italian turkey sausage. And it smells so good. Ooh, I can't wait. Taste these. I'm going to tell y'all the funniest thing. Do you know this is my first time ever making meatballs? Yes, my first time ever making some meaty meaty balls. So I got my pan. I almost said I got my bud. Cause he's the bud. <laughs> I'm gonna spray my pan with a little olive oil spray. And now I'm going to take my plastic spoon and make my meatballs. I'm going to make them about this size, guys. About this size. They're going to be a little larger than the smaller ones. The smaller ones take about 20 minutes to cook. Um, where these will probably take about um, maybe 30 Maybe 10 more minutes to cook. 30 or 40, I'll say. Let me preheat my oven to... I'm going to preheat it to 400. <laughs> and then I'm going to cut it down to... <laughs> and then some people, after they make theirs up, <clears throat> after they roll it, <clears throat> they freeze them. Or put them in the refrigerator so the meat can set after rolling it up. And oh, it's a little bit too big there. So, I'm going to finish doing this, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. This is what my meatballs are looking like. And so, I'm getting ready to place them in the oven. Let them cook for about 30, maybe 40 minutes until they get completely done on the inside. And then I'll bring them back so you can see what I do with the gravy and get the mashed potatoes and stuff together. All right. So, I'm side these in the oven. And then I'm coming back to show you how to do these here, these Brussels sprouts. All right. 
So I got some fresh Brussels sprouts here. Clean them up real good. Cut off the uh, the leave ends on them. So I got here some balsam vinegar that I'm gonna put on them. Uh, but I really don't want to use this one because it doesn't do like a real good glazing. So I'm gonna use the balsam vinegar that I have here in my refrigerator. I'm just looking for it right now. I'm not going to be looking for it too long. Okay. <laughs> and I just said that too. <laughs> okay. So this is the one I'm doing. The balsamic vinegar here. It's the uh, reduction kind. And it gives a give a glaze on your <clears throat> brush sprout. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray them with some olive oil. <laughs> Hold them really nice, y'all. Some olive oil. And then I'm gonna go in with um, let me wash my little spoons off here. I should have done this earlier. <laughs> Try now. <them. laughs> I'm a video. I'm recording. Okay, I do not own copyright for whatever music she's gonna play in the background. But I'm going in with my gar garlic and pepper seasoning. And I'm just going to sprinkle. This is the one teaspoon, you guys. So I just want to make sure that all pieces get a little bit on there. So basically, I'm um, just make sure that, you know, you just coat them with your seasoning, okay? Cold them with your seasoning. Okay, so that's that's enough right there. Okay. I don't want to overdo it. Put a little Himalayan salt. Okay. So I'm going to go in and just toss these around so they can be all coated really nice and stuff. Ooh, they look so good. They look so good. <laughs> what you playing? What you playing? What I asked you? I'm turning down what I can't do. I said, you playing what I asked you to play? What you playing? What you playing? Perfect shot. Okay. Perfect shot. 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 And it's called the Reduce Balsamic Vinegar Glaze. It's a little thicker than the one that I just showed you. <laughs> and it's called the Balsamic Vinegar Reduction. So, <laughs> this is going to go great. <laughs> So if you had, if you wanted to know how much I think I probably pulled on there, I just wanted to hit every last one of these Brussels sprouts and make sure that each part got glazed. So basically, I will say probably maybe three of these or four of these, one teaspoons. So and this one here's the difference. This one is more of a liquid one, more of a base to put on your dressing. See how liquefied this is? Well, this one here, see, it's not really liquefied. Let me show you. It's more of a thicker base. You see how slow it pours to the top? I don't know if you can tell, but see, so it's not watery like this one here. So this one here is reduced reduction. And I'm just showing this to you all a little longer because you might decide that you want. I got both of them from Target. You might decide that you want to pick that up and try this recipe. So these are going in the oven right now for about 10 minutes. Probably even less than that because it doesn't take long for Brussels sprouts to get done. All right. I'll be back. Okay, guys. I'm back. So now 
I have my pan here and I'm going to do two packages of this gravy. I could make my own gravy, but I want to just go ahead and make it quick. Um, it doesn't have a lot of sodium in it. No sugar, no fats, no none of that. So, yes, I'm going to use this here packet and make two, pack, two packets of it, of this gravy. So, it calls for two cups of water. I'm going to get my measuring cup out. In the pan, two cups of water. <laughs> you just want to put a little bit more water. Because <laughs> water evaporates real quick. So, and. <laughs> a little whisk here <laughs> really don't like to use metal whisk in here but I don't have a plastic one so I'm going to use this little metal whisk that I have Let's that on through my meatballs are almost done. I just checked my uh, Brussels sprouts and they're almost done. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and do this gravy. So when my meatballs come out, I can just go right on ahead and uh, add them into the gravy so they can be coated and get my mashed potatoes done. And that's dinner. Okay, guys. So, I got this gravy whisked up real well. Hope so. I hope you all are having a great day today. Beautiful day. All right. Okay, so I'm just going to give that time to cook and settle. And uh, now I'm going to have my little pot here for my mashed potato water. Uh, they actually instant potatoes that I'm going to be doing. asking for two cups of water. <laughs> so I'm going to make these. And it's asking for two cups of water and three packs of butter. Put my water over here on this side and get this going. So it says heat water and butter. So where's my butter? There's my butter. I got my butter. <laughs> See how good that gravy is looking? It's getting thick and it's. <clears throat> I was going to get one pack, guys, but I knew that I was going to need two packs as large as the um, meatballs are. So, that's one pad of butter. <coughs> two packs of butter. Ooh. Three packs of butter. And just a little, little piece. I like food. Oh, pack butter. <laughs> yeah, y'all. I'm going to come out of that weed. <coughs> And I'm tired and hot. So, I'm going to check, taste my 
Grape. Gravy doesn't need anything. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> and I'm going to show you how successful is the Rosa's Brussels sprouts, you guys. Just can't wait to eat. <laughs> They're done. I turned them. And I can't wait to eat. Okay, guys. Here's those meatballs. Look at those meatballs, y'all. Look at them. They just waiting to get off into that crate. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So while this gravy is cooking, I'm going to put it down on a simmer. <coughs> and then what I'm going to do, <coughs> I'm going to take my spoon here. And I'm just going to kind of get a little of that. Take them. Place them up in here one at a time. Oh, yes, they look so good. Oh, y'all. This was a quick meal. Quick and easy meal. Now, actually, if you call it a pantry meal, this is basically what it is a pantry meal. If I had to go ahead and cook that Italian um, sausage on up and the ground turkey. And left it out for it to unthaw in the refrigerator. Was to make this lovely meal. And I've been wanting some Italian meatballs, uh, Italian turkey meatballs for the longest. So look at that. Just, just let it just simmer in there. Ooh, you guys. <laughs> this is going to be lovely. Lovely. A lovely day. Oh. This looks so good, guys. My team, T Block team, make you some of this. Just, just get off in that kitchen. Get whatever seasons you want to add. And make it to your taste, your liking, your whatever. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to. It says now stir in milk. So I got to put in my milk. So it wants a three-fourth cup of milk. I'm using uh, almond milk. <coughs> I'm use some almond milk, guys. down some, kind of cut it down to a simmer. And I have a one cup here, but I know how to measure it. You measure it, three cups, just a little bit before you get to a four cup. That's what that would be. If you take a one cup, measure it. And measure it just before Just before you get it to the full cup. Add it on into your water. Okay. And then. Whew, I just got to turn these a little bit. Everybody. And this is going to make such a beautiful dinner. A beauty for dinner. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So now I'm getting ready to. <laughs> since you already seen that. The meatballs. You know how good these look. I'm going to slide this pot over so you can see what I'm doing with these herbal garlic mashed potatoes. So I already got my milk, my butter in there and so I'm going to go ahead and start whisking <coughs> my potatoes in here <coughs> I 
I hope it doesn't get no lumps in here, y'all, because I have not done these types of potatoes in a long time. Ooh, it's kind of thickening up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Y'all, it's getting lumpy and clumpy. So I'm gonna add a little more water to it because I don't want it to get lumpy and clumpy. Well, I cannot understand it. Ooh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, I'm going to cut this eye down some. And I'm just going to keep whipping it up. I just added a little more water to it, so the lumps, the pumps to the bump for the lumps. <laughs> I don't know if y'all remember that song back in the day. Uh, and kind of whip some of the lumps out. Ooh, yeah, it's hot in this kitchen. <clears throat> I'm cut this. Oh, I can't cut the stove off because I got the other meatballs in there, what was remaining. I'm going to set them on the stove, and I'm going to let them cool, and then I'm going to wrap them up in some uh, foil. Okay, y'all, see how nice and creamy that the mashed potatoes is? I just had to add just a little water to them, so I don't want them to be too thick, and I don't want them to be lumpy, lumpy, lumpy. So... I'm going to taste this. I'm going to cut these off right now. Taste these potatoes. See if they need any of my extra skills for teas to it. Mm. Not at all. So I say Betty Crocker did real good with the made these. All right. So. Alright. Okay guys. So what I'm about to do now is make a little plate for Dee Dee and see how she likes it. <laughs> you make a plate for Dee Dee and see how she likes it. Dee Dee? Dee Dee. Dee Dee. <laughs> I would love for you to come in and try. Please. <laughs> huh? Yep, it is done. Dinner is. Denter. Denter is served. <laughs> huh? No, I'm not done recording. I just want you to just try it. <clears throat> okay. And potatoes onto the plate. <coughs> your butt up in that bowl. <coughs> I have to talk to it. Say, sit your butt up in that bowl. Put these meat balls on this side. Ooh. I don't know if she wants the meatballs on her. Um, I just made a mess, y'all. But <laughs> give Dee Dee about four of these meatballs, guys. And <laughs> it's all gravied up, y'all. Because I know she loves gravy. So, so there's those mashed potatoes. There's those meatballs. 
There's the roasted uh, Brussels sprouts. So if you like this video, like, share, comment, subscribe. Smash the notification bell. And never fail to leave a comment. We do not own copyrights to what's playing in the background. So, but thank you. Have a blessed day.